Hindu festival of light is just over, and as ever it went with a bang, as Indians celebrated and watched an estimated half a billion pounds worth of fireworks go up in smoke. It was the joyous prelude to the setting off of a much larger rocket, which everyone here hoped would not emulate the fireworks and instead remain intact as it began its journey. Two, zero, plus one, two, three, four. Lift off. India is already a nuclear power. Now through this mission, it is striving to join an even more select band of nations. The very few that have successfully gone to the red planet, Mars. 20 miles away, these children saw the launch, but their headmaster is not a fan. Among other things, he's waiting for the government to put up the swings still missing from the frame that arrived years ago. Defenders of India's space program point out that the satellites sent up in the last two decades have improved the quality of life for millions. Detractors say a country that is home to one in three of the world's malnourished children cannot afford the luxury of space exploration. It's not a good idea. There are many places here without facilities. Our education system needs to be developed. In my opinion, they are wasting money on Mars. Conversely, this woman told me that the launch was a step forward and a great source of national pride. Following in the contrails of the Americans, Russians and Europeans, the rocket carries with it this country's ambition to be the Asian superpower in space, regardless of the difficulties here at home. John Irvine, ITV News, Southern India.